I, I'm not a TV watcher. I, I don't watch TV generally for a lot of reasons. Most of it doesn't inter- interest me. Um, some of the shows are just kind of stupid. But I, I saw – and I don't know what sporting event it was. I was flicking channels. I saw a giant American Eagle that was uh, a promotion like before the sporting event. I think the the bird's name was Challenger, which is a great name for an American Eagle, right? And the, the, the American Eagle like flies over the stadium, and then he swoops in and lands on the guy's – uh, shoulder or arm or whatever, or outstretched arm. And I looked up this bird, and he does like events everywhere. I mean, I, I should mention the trainer's name, I, but I, the bird is the is the big attraction, Challenger. And they named it after the down space shuttle, you know, so they could say Challenger flies again, I guess. I don't know. But it was just fabulous. I mean, it really was an American statement. Well, isn't it? A, a giant, I mean, it, it was giant. I don't know if this is like above average for American Eagles, but this guy was a monster. I mean, he really was, and he was just so perfect, you know? If he was a, a single guy in a bar, his hair is perfect, you know? He's got the right outfit on. He has the look. He's got that, that look like, I'll kill you, you know? Um, and I thought to myself, you know, Putin, when well, we've seen the pictures of Putin riding a bear, but if I was president of the United States, I – I train as a falconer in my you know, spare time if I had any and have an American bald eagle as a pet. I, I think I'd call it Jefferson or maybe Agamemnon. Agamemnon's a good name. I, even though it's not an American name, it sounds good for an eagle. Or if I had a, or maybe Buckshot. Buckshot the Eagle. And I have that I'd have that guy sit inside the Oval Office on a perch. And then whenever like a Russian, I train it so that whenever a Russian came in or maybe on cue so it was easier to do, the, the bird would screech. So that, you know, like Putin comes into the Oval Office, you go, hey, how you doing? The freaking bird would just screech at him. Ah, that would be just so great. And say, hey, oh, don't mind my bird. That, that's Agamemnon. He just, he doesn't like it when Russians are in the Oval Office. You know, you want to play a game of one-upsmanship, you put an American eagle in the Oval Office. Okay? Maybe I'd take it out, have some photo shoots for the press, with the you know a president with a, a freaking American eagle on his arm, and then like say kill and have it launch and tear to pieces a stuffed donkey, right? Because it's Democrat symbol of Democrats donkey, and you just have it tear. You say yeah, that's what I do. I mean, you can ride a circus bear, but Vlad, I I, I have my pet eagle Agamemnon. I mean, you know the White House is always big on having pets in the White House. You know, or like it's like a cocker spaniel or a poodle because that's the number one popular pet. You ever notice that when they have a pet at the White House, it's the number one popular pet of that year, or some cat which gets in the way, and you never see the cat in the Oval Office, you know, stepping on the papers and stuff. It's just we have a cat, and you don't know where it is. It must be in a box somewhere in one of the back rooms. Me, I do the eagle thing. Yeah, a big old angry bald eagle. That's that's what you want. I know one thing. If that bald eagle was sitting in my office screeching at every foreign dignitary that came in and then me calming it down, nobody would sit in my goddamn chair. You remember, you know that scene where the, the president of uh, – what was it, Chile? Sits down in Obama's chair. Nobody would sit in my chair, that's for sure because that freaking eagle would be just perched. And you could put him right, you know, right next to your desk, right behind you. So that as you're having a conversation with whoever it is, you're, you know, the president of Peru or the president of Ecuador, he'd be sitting there looking at, you know, whoever was saying, that's what you do. You want to intimidate somebody. You put it, I mean, this thing was big, believe me. It would intimidate me. And I, I don't get, I don't intimidate easy. And that, that freaking thing looking at me, I'd think twice about sitting in somebody else's chair. Anyway, that's, that's, that's just how I, I feel about it. Um, so-